Hey guys, it's Lisette here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I like to do my own pedicures at home. The perfect place to start for this is in the shower because we have to prep our feet. We can just start painting them and then we're out the door. No, I'm doing like a full pedicure. My feet need some TLC. Guys, I <laughs> kind of sort of like neglected my feet for like a month or so. So do not be coming for me with my toes. This is just real. This is raw. I'm showing you guys what I'm going to do. So of course you wanna wash your feet. And after washing, I have this callus remover tool, which I really, really like. It helps to remove all the dead skin. And so I just like to use it on the heels, kind of feel around with my fingers and see like where it's really rough. I also like to do the sides of my big toe and kind of like the main part of the foot, but just avoiding the arch area because that area is already kind of soft. So that's what I'm doing. And honestly, it's really kind of gross, but it's kind of like black heads where it's secretly really satisfying so this is all the dead skin not too much next I'm moving on to a scrub so this has a little bit more exfoliation this one is a sugar scrub and it smells like pomegranate and it's super good I just like to apply this all over my legs and work it down to my feet this is again just helping remove the dead skin cells and to exfoliate my feet really make sure that they're baby 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 soft I'm also using this foot buffer. It's really cool because all you do is wet it and it starts to like suds up. It smells like lavender and it has shea butter and tea tree oil. So again, I'm just scrubbing this all over my feet and I'm also getting like underneath my nails because I wanna make sure my feet are super, super clean and make sure that they're exfoliated to the max just so that they're super soft. rinsing everything off and once I'm done out of my shower it's time for me to actually start the pedicure for my setup I'm first just putting down like an old towel this one has some bleach stains on it and so I'm setting up all my supplies I have my LED UV lamp a manicure kit that I got at Walgreens my nail file some tin foil cuticle remover 100% pure acetone, some cotton balls, some rubbing alcohol, a little brush for cleanup, and of course, lotion. So here are my feet. <laughs> and as you can see, the white is completely faded. Like look at the white on my nails and then look at the white on my toes. It's, this is an emergency. Before I start anything, I have to remove my gel. And so if you don't have gel polish, then you can totally skip over this portion, but I only do gel on my toes. So I have to remove the gel and it takes a little bit to remove it, but it's super easy and I'll show you guys. First, I'm just filing down all the gel really gently with my nail file. And then I'm taking a few cotton balls and I'm just like spreading them just so that they're a little bit less thick. Taking a sheet of tin foil and I'm soaking the cotton ball in 100% pure acetone. It has to be acetone. I'm folding it up and just letting this kind of cook for a few minutes and I'm doing this to my other foot too. I let it sit on for about, let's say 10 minutes. Let it chill, let it do its thing. And I'm just gonna check on the progress. And so I'm taking this tool out of my manicure kit and I'm just going to kind of scrape away the gel. I'm scraping it off and whatever doesn't come off, that's okay. I'm just going to recover it with the acetone, let it sit on there and again, repeat the same steps. You could just file it all off, but that's not really the best option every single time because over time it can make your nails like super thin. With the remainder, I'm just taking a nail file and just kind of gently buffing away all the extra gel. Then I'm taking this cuticle remover, which I got off Amazon. And by the way, all the products will be in the description box down below. And again, I'm just taking that same tool and I'm just pushing back my cuticles and just cleaning up a little bit of that cuticle area. And finally, I am clipping my toenails. 
I, <laughs> my nails grow super fast. I don't know about you guys. Some people like the long toe look. That's just not me. I like to have a little bit of skin showing above the nail. And so this is my time to really make sure that the nails are super, super straight and super square. That's just the shape that I like to do. I really like that blunt square shape. So I'm really making sure to file the top and file the edges just so I can get that square look. In order to clean up the toes a little bit more, I'm taking this cuticle trimmer and just trimming my cuticles. You know. I just want my toes to look clean and so there's like a little bit of dead skin on the side so I'm really making sure to just clean it up to overall just make the toes look better. And of course you have to actually clean underneath the nail and so that's what I'm doing just with this wooden tool. And to finish off the prepping, I'm just buffing the nails with a more gentle nail buffer just because when I use the nail file, it kind of made the nails like a little bit uneven, kind of like textured. So buffing it helps smooth the nail out. Before I start painting, I'm taking a cotton ball with some rubbing alcohol just to clean and dehydrate my natural nail because I'm using gel and you really want to make sure everything is clean and everything is good. So with gel, the first step is base coat. All of the polishes that I'm using today are from Valentino Beauty Pure. I'm applying this all over my toenails and then I'm just putting my toes into my UV light for 60 seconds. So now I'm just putting in these toe separators because I really want to be careful when I'm doing my gel polish. And so I'm using this white and I really like this white because it's super, super thick. So you have to work in really, really thin sections. What works best for me? Pushing the brush up against the cuticle and then just dragging up. As you can see here, I'm just pushing the brush against the cuticle, really gently lining it up to make it even and then dragging it up. I'm trying to be really careful, but as the toes get smaller, it gets harder to paint my toes. This step is extremely important. I'm taking some rubbing alcohol with my little brush just to clean up all the edges. This is what transforms any nail polish look, whether it's gel, regular polish, nails, toenails, whatever it may be. You use this and you clean up the edges and instantly it looks professional. So I'm just using the brush and just cleaning everything up and if I make a little mistake I just apply a little bit of polish on it and just clean up and make it all look good. Once I'm done with this I'm popping this into the UV light for 60 seconds and again I'm repeating this whole process to do a second coat. Last but not least is top coat and so I'm just putting a generous amount of top coat just to add a really nice shine onto my nails. And I'm using the brush just to clean up any extra polish that may have like leaked on the sides or anything that got into my skin. And of course putting this into the lamp for 60 seconds. And so now I'm just moving on to my other foot and doing the same process. I like to do one foot at a time. I'm typically a white slash nude type of girl. I mean, sometimes I think it's cute to like match your nails with your toes, like if it's pink or something, but I'm typically like a white or nude girl. It's clean, it's simple, it goes with everything and you really can't go wrong with white. So 
So like I said, I'm just repeating all these steps. I'm doing two coats of the white and then finishing off with the top coat. I could just leave it here, but your girl's a perfectionist, so I like to go in and just kind of finesse the shape and really make sure that I'm getting that square look, really cleaning it up, and so I can really get the shape to my liking. For lotion, I'm using good old fashioned Palmer's Cocoa Butter, and I'm just applying this all over my feet and really massaging this into my skin and moisturizing around my nails and around my heels. I did like a lot of exfoliation, so you really wanna make sure that you apply lotion after because you just don't wanna exfoliate and then not moisturize. And with this, this is the final pedicure look. I feel like my toes look so much better, super cute. And if you like this video, then please make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!